Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Today, we've got a brand new story to share with you. So let's dive in. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all our latest content and show your support. So let's begin. I just walked up on my wife straddling my cousin in a pool and I witnessed them kiss. For context, my wife and I have been together for over 5 years, married for 1.5 of them. My cousin and I grew up together and have basically been like brothers. We are best friends, and we just started living near each other again after many years apart. My cousin is also married, but he has been having marital issues. His wife really wants a baby, and he's not ready yet. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but suffice it to say they are on rocky ground at the moment. My wife is educated as a therapist, has really good communication skills, and is very relatable. It turns out my wife and my cousin have quite a bit in common, and I thought they would be great friends. Well, recently, I noticed that they were communicating a lot more over text and hanging out just the two of them together more often. I didn't think much of this. My wife and I both work from home, so it's nice when one of us can get out of the house for a little bit. And I thought it was cool that the love of my life was becoming friends with my lifelong best friend. Besides, they are the two people in this world that I trust and care about the most. And neither of them has ever given me a reason to doubt that trust. Fast forward a few weeks after they started talking more. I witnessed the pool incident. When I saw it, they hadn't noticed I was there. I just stood there dumbfounded for a minute before my cousin turned and saw me. He tried to say hey like nothing had happened, but I just turned around and walked away. After a few seconds I thought maybe I had imagined it. There's no way that just happened, right? So I walked over to them and asked if I saw what I just thought I saw. They both just stared back at me without saying a word. It was clear they'd been caught. So I stormed off back to my wife's house and had quite the panic attack along the way and after I got home. I was hyperventilating and still couldn't believe what I had just seen. They both come back to the house a little while later and my wife explains to me that they've been getting closer and have unintentionally started having feelings for each other. Nothing had actually happened until today and they were just trying to figure out if it meant anything. Of course, at this point, I'm very emotional and pretty distrustful of what they're telling me. They had plenty of opportunities for other stuff up to this point. So I'm probing and just asking them to tell me the truth. I just wanted honesty so that I could have all the facts and begin processing them. Eventually, I decided to talk to them individually. I talked to my cousin first. He admitted that they were both aware of each other's feelings for a few weeks now and that they had in fact made out one time before when she had gone to visit him. So right there, I knew that my wife had initially lied to me. He insisted that it was a mistake, that he's sorry, and that he never meant to hurt me. Too little too late. So I asked him to leave and I went in to confront my wife. I told her that I knew she had lied to me already and that I wanted to hear the whole truth. She argued that this was too much like an interrogation, but I told her that, in fact, it was, and I was just trying to get the full picture. If she didn't tell me everything it would be worse. So she relays to me that they had also kissed out at a bar one of the first times they hung out alone together. Now I've seen three different versions of this story that slowly reveal more of the truth. I told her everything my cousin had told me, and she finally appeared to relay the whole story. I'm still skeptical that she could have just incorporated what he said and left out other stuff, but it's too late to redo that conversation. Anyway, after that, I told her I needed some time to process and promptly went and threw up. This whole thing has made me physically ill. They both have been caught lying and I don't know if I can trust the story I have so far. I'm still in the processing phase and looking for advice from anyone who's been cheated on like this. I can understand my cousin's ulterior motives, a struggling marriage and finding someone who he connected with better than his wife. But my wife and I's relationship has been really good up until this point. She said it had nothing to do with me. She just took a crush a little too far. But if all it takes is a little crush, what's to stop her from doing it again? Ultimately, I want to try to get through this, but right now I just don't see a way where my relationship can continue on without resentment and distrust building up. My thoughts are consumed with them kissing and doing other things that I probably just don't know about. I know there are a lot of red flags about my wife and cousin in this scenario, but I'm also typing this on the same day it happened, so I'm probably not being as objective as I could be. I've signed up for some therapy sessions and am planning on getting couples therapy as well. I still haven't talked to my wife though. I'm just looking for advice from anyone who's gone through something like this before I make any rash decisions. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories like this. See you next time!